on, people, you're looking for any LEDs, go to auto1led.com. You can search by application. You see they carry motorcycle lights, HIDs, daytime running lights, all of that. You can even search by your vehicle, your make and model. Everything's going to pop up for your vehicle that they carry. Once you're done, go to your cart, type in discount code T4D, get you 15% off all of your orders. Get your vehicle straight and back on the road and looking how you want it to look. What's going on, people? Welcome back to the fourth dimension. It's Ken Jackson here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change your reverse light bulb on your Nissan Rogue Sport. This is a 2022. Let me show you guys real quick. As you can see, it's in reverse. That's what the beeping is for. We got one light on, one light off. And let me find the package. Where did I put the... Here it is, right here. You know what time it is, boy. You know what time. Hey, Auto One back in the booth you know auto one back on deck you know hey man go ahead go to auto one's website get you some of these whatever bulbs you need man go ahead and get them this car make a lot of noises oh my god whatever bulbs you need auto one more than likely has them first things first right we're gonna need to get to these the outside is your turn signal the inside is your reverse bulbs so it could be easy, it could be hard. Let's check it out. Obviously, we have this huge black plastic piece. Let me get my flashlight. Big black plastic piece that needs to come down. And it's looking like this might be a pretty simple job. You can ignore these, ignore these bolts. This is on the frame of the car. We're looking at these plastic pieces and then this screw right here. And I know there's another one somewhere in here. I know there is. Ooh. Can't find it right now. We might not even need to do that. Really, we might not even need to go that far. Let's see. The separation right here. See that separation, that line right there? So we're gonna start by taking off one, two, and take off this screw, and it should be clipped down, right? So all we have to do is give it a little tug, a little pull, it should be able to go. So we have it taken down. Like I said, you have a plastic retainer clip. That's the word, that's the word I was thinking of. Retainer clip right here, retainer clip right here, the screw right here. And that part actually separates, comes out. And then, like I said, everything is just clipped together. As you can see, it clips. You just pull it down. Stick your hand in there. Get the ones in the back. So this is the side when you open the hatch. This is the side that's closest to you. So what you can do, stick your hand in there. I'm sorry, I only got two hands, bro. Bear with me. Bear with me. Stick your hand up in there, right? Press it down. Obviously, you're gonna have to hold the hatch up at the same time, right? Hold it down, press it down, unclip it. Stick your hand through this side. If your hand's thin enough, hold the hatch up, pull that side down. As you can see, these actually slide in place. You have a few that slide in place, and then you have these that press up in there. Once you have that off, you can leave that piece up there on and you're right there at your bulbs. So let's start with the one that is not working. Let's see, we have the brake light then we have the reverse light. This one should be the reverse light. Press the tab. Don't even press the tab. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Twist, twist. I might need my other hand for this. Let me see I might need my other hand give me one second so yes it is a twist and pull it out and that was a very very tight <laughs> it's a tight tight squeeze in there and it was in there pretty tight and as soon as I pulled it out the bulb came out so it's like the bulb wasn't even locked in place I don't know if this car went to Nissan and they didn't put it back together I don't I don't know 
let's find the auto ones. I'll put these in real quick. So here's the thing I didn't notice until now. There is a tab right there. There's a little prong right there. If you can see it, that's keeping you from twisting it to the left, twisting it this way to unlock it. So you can kind of press down and pull it, press down and push it this way to kind of get it out of there. But yeah, that's in a way for when you try to unlock it and lock it back in place. Now, I was saying, I don't know if this car went to Nissan for some reason, or maybe the hatch was slammed too tightly a few times and the bulb just got loose. Who knows? But let's test it out. Moment of truth. Foot on brake. Okay. Put it in reverse. I see some light action back there some lights going on there we go it's on it looks pretty good too obviously we're gonna change both of them you can tell the difference how much brighter that LED is and it makes more sense because if you have a rogue sport or a rogue you know that they're, they're LEDs up front with the headlights and everything and back here is halogen or incandescent bulbs or whatever but you can test those lights are still working. The turn signal is still working. It looks good. These are 921 bulbs, by the way. Auto one, 921. Or if you just want replacement bulbs, regardless, it doesn't have to be an auto one bulb. Just make sure it's a 921 reverse light bulb. And that's it for this video. I'm going to actually open the hatch back up and change the other one. As I stated, really simple, open the hatch. One retainer, two retainer, screw, pull it out, press down. It's actually pretty easy when you think about it. The hardest part is just pulling this out. Just sticking your hand in there, and obviously you can unscrew it and take the whole tail light out, but that's too much work. That's something a dealership would do just so they could charge you more. Twist it, pull it out. It's the one that's right here, okay? The one that's furthest to the edge. Furthest to the edge. Twist it. Jesus Christ, that one's shit. That one tight too, boy. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video, man. Auto one LEDs, 921 bulb, 912 and 921 LED bulbs. Good luck. Any questions? Let me know. Make sure you line everything up. Um, make sure you slide it. If you have some that hasn't, that got pulled out, like there's some prongs that are that might be stuck in there, and there's some that you might need to like, like I was showing you earlier, slide it on there, and then make sure you come right here in the middle, like right there, press up on it, like that one, press up on it, make sure they click. Put your rivets and stuff back in there. Not your rivets, your um retainer clips. Jesus Christ. Put your retainer clip back in there. There's one. Get your little hand cubby thingy. Put that back in there. Where's it at? Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like having both of the lights on. Real quick. Well, the front headlights are halogen, but the daytime running lights are LEDs. Reverse lights are now LEDs as well, which looks a lot better. And it obviously will be a lot safer so people can see when this person is backing up. Instead of only seeing it from one light, they can see it from both. And obviously for inspection purposes, it'll be good for that. Anyway, now that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching.